Jawa Male Ora E Como Emila Silama Felicia Wille Ma B. Yi Sata Stevie Eta Say Victoria Gossing Fatu John Fewa B. S. Sumawu Hallelujah. All right, now we go to our ready testimony. Her name is Z. Gibson. Zo Gibson, rather. And she writes, I am a daughter of this grace. I just want to thank the God of my father for his preservation over my life to see my birthday today. A good health. Because since I joined this ministry, the God of this house has been good to me in every, in every way. My life and the life of my family, I thank God in Jesus' name. Now listen to our testifier. Tell us your name, where you're from, and what the Lord has done. My name is Esther Edwards. I come out free time, Sierra Leone. I can't get testimony for me picking. During the youth conference, I've been calm. So what do you do for me? I make a say I go sit down at the Kanduam East uh, Women's Conference. Me picking me the drink wonderful. If they go from town to town, village to village. He, he learned, he go college, he done, he married. So he left in Peking and he, he woman, he go na bush. He not, we not be no wusa he But my sister, they come at this church. Now he say, Esther, how would you Peking like that? He said, God will must help you. And indeed, why can't God help me? The first day will come, they stop me at the gates. I say, what in this? I say, the set away they be a winner, Sierra Leone, I fall a week, I say, na lie. I said, but yeah, why don't come? God will must do it for me. The first day, Papa been the way Papa call up the altar. Now me pick as he done for pray, me pick him in the hole. As Papa lift up one prayer point, now he gonna do. So after the prayer, I go na do, I look for him, I see him. Now I say, let come down. He say, no, they come down. So he goes sit down at the restaurant, see under. He say, Mama, now they are sit down. I say, okay. And he say, he sit down. He say, this church compound, God there with you. And indeed. When we return back to Sierra Leone, God help him. Now, in woman, in Pekin, they all long can one. In woman, they peace. Then I can testify what God do for me. Uh, the same uh, uh, youth conference. Now, I make a say, I need to I know well. Every day, I then a hospital to hospital. But from what I buy the mantle, I buy oil, I buy water. God make a way for me. Now, I okay. I need to drink the tablets and self what they buy for me. So I can't tell God thank you. I tell the man of God thank you at this church. Let God continue for the blessing and keep us safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Her, hus her, her son has a wife and children, but he started growing out of his hair. He left his wife and children and went in the village in Sierra Leone. But so because of that, she took her son. They came in Liberia, she heard about the grace. So they came for the youth conference the first day. They couldn't enter the second day. She came along with her son. Her son told her, say, I want to be there. I want to be sent to where they selling the food. She said, no problem. So he was still at that. Only they went back to Sierra She bought the provided material. When they left from the youth conference, her son came no more. He went back to his wife. And everything is no more in Jesus' name. Now not listen to our next testifier. Your name, where you from, and the Lord's doing. But I am still story, and I said I break grace. I am Mama Brown, a proud daughter of this commission. I am proud because when I see where the Lord took me from and where he had brought me. Okay. The Lord took me from jobless to a working woman. He took me from water community to a dwelling in one room apartment. Uh, the Lord took my children from a physical school to good schools. Okay, it was it was 
let's say Jenny Warren, Bob, then actually what I'm doing right now, I applied for it since 2022. Since I graduated from high school, I have never worked in my entire life. Even vacation job, I have never done it. Up to university level, I graduated from university in 2020. I have never worked. So 2022, I've been applying for a job, but I, I, I haven't been successful to get a job. 2022, I had two different interviews. I made it a second round. In the second round, I was the only lady among the men that was successful. And this was not my doing, but it was the doing of the God of War on me. It was the dream of the God of all of me. So I met her for the second round and they said they were going to call us. Whosoever successful, they were going to call us. So I said, okay, I can. And I kept trusting God. Can you imagine since 2022, I've been coming in the presence of God. I've been trusting God. And I said to God, and I said to the God of this world, I said I never ran with my document to church before you make it possible for them to call me. I will keep coming in your presence. I will not go anywhere. I will not feel discouraged. I will always keep the faith in you because I know with you all things are possible. And, and finally, 2024 this year, when our daddy was doing a prayer, the trouble water January, the last Friday, I was not even in Sarah's. I was in both of my mother's place. I want to go spend time there. I was watching a serious life. When he finished with a serious, he said, apply your water. Everywhere your document is stuck, go and check your document out. I did it. I applied the water. Saturday, Christian brother and sister. I receive a call. When I receive a call, but if I say my phone, they call my husband number because the HR said she was calling me, but she couldn't get me. And which, of course, my phone was on. So he called me on my mother's number. He said, but remember what happened to your phone? I said, but my phone on. He said, okay. The HR said, you should call her. You apply for a job since 2022, and you start the interview. So you are the one selected for the job. They won't talk to you. So I said, okay. I called a woman back, and she told me, she said, Mama, you ever to come right now? I told her, I said, yes. And I made my way there. When I made my way there, I went and met the boss. When I met the boss, he and I talk and everything. He said, but Mama, I interact with you, so I know you. But I'll go back, I just want to see you. I will call you. I said, okay. When I went back home, you are not even imagine what happened to me. That night when I slept, I ate food in my sleep. Rally, rally, fool. I rather ate that fool. And when I wake up, so we all sad. It delayed my process for some time. Me and I were going to call money. It went up for two weeks again before they could call me. When they called me that day again, before they could call me, say, it was the same January again last Sunday when I came when daddy was praying. He said, someone you are sitting on hold. He said, but for now to tomorrow, he said, receive your call. I grab that prayer or don't come on. She said, but remember you are selected for the job. I said, praise God. And now I am a working woman, a working woman. I just want to be grateful to God. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Now now listen to our net testifier. Your name, where you from? And what the Lord has done. My name is Abinata Tenekone. I'm from Virginia. From a junction. The day I reached Tuesday night. Fruit from women are helping us celebrate the great Savior. I was lying after Daddy came to preach. After the preaching, he was a word upon us. He said, God will tell you your are your J.A. My son called me. He told low to me. He said, Mama, I need an attack. Hallelujah. For the poor quality of her voice, let me make it clear. She said, her son carried a guest. Like when the people come from other country, working with them, carry the girl to go walk around. So after that, he was on his way home. The bag he got on, the bag person carried him in a bush. And they told him, he said, we're going to circumcise you. 
So he jumped from himself. He called his mother, said, Mama, where am I? I'm in trouble. People want to kill me. And then she began to call on the God of this commission. Say, God of Apostle Koma, don't allow the people to kill my son. She began to pray and she went to call other people, join her to pray, calling on the God of this commission. And it was how her son was able to be delivered from that danger to the glory of God. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate Jesus better than that. Now, not listen to our next testifier. Your name, where you're from, and what the Lord has done for you. In Jesus' name, people of God have been celebrating grace. I'm Rachina from Congo Town. It was some part of last week, or let's just say the week before last. So, I was doing business, but I can't understand anything in my business. So, my rain was coming closer, my rain too. So I called my sister Delvin. I said, Oh, I said, sister, this is not easy for me to feed down. But my landlord now called me. The only thing I can do for you, I get money. I want to get that kind of money. But the women conference coming, oh, I will carry to the church. Church, I said, okay, No problem. When she went to me in town Tuesday, we came. Well, yeah, like how we started praying, praying. Tuesday, Wednesday, we pray. Thursday, someone called me and said, Rash, where are you? I said, Oh, at home. Now the person said, come to me. So I said, okay, I will come. Later on, that twice day, after first session, I go on back. I went straight to Congo Town 10th Street. I had the person check 900 US to carry to me. So I just want to be glory. I just want to tell God, thank you for your mercy upon my life. My second testimony go like this. Last night, day before yesterday morning, 2 o'clock, I was sleeping. I know where I'm thinking from. For my stomach, I started breathing fast, fast, started sweating. So I woke up my sister. I said, ah. I said, Delphine, I'm dying. Or I said, I know what the pink is for my stomach. I ought to walk. She said, like, gas, let's go in the bathroom. I said, they want gas. I said, like, gas, I will be bashing at the same time. I said, she, she said, let's go. I said, like, gas, I said, not gas. I will not even ought to walk. When I got up from down there, I went down there. I feel them. I had the security say, who's that? He started pointing the letter. I must say, don't point the letter. Go in the bathroom. Walk going in the bathroom, I want to walk, people of God. Now she said, okay, drink the water. She opened the water. She, uh, she gave me the water. I drank the water. I want to walk from down there. I went in the bathroom. I came from the bathroom. Now I had my stomach stop completely. So I just want to be grateful to God for this commission in Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate the power of God in this place. Now let's listen to our next testifier. Your name, where are you from, and what is your testimony? Praise the name of Jesus. I'm Aura, I'm a coma from Patra Fatra. Somebody shall say grace. Well, I want to be grateful to God for his grace upon my life. My first testimony called that this. It was our women fast and prayer. And I can't a terrible dream where someone struck me with something and they told me that I would die. So I asked them, what did I do? And from that, I came out. I was fighting and I came out from sleep. And I began to pray. I said, God, why me? What did I do that someone would kill me? Who am I offended in life that you cannot show me? And I prayed. I left. I stood Lord. I went in the bathroom. I came back. I was still praying. I haven't become so afraid in life that I, but that day I was very afraid. From there, I lied down a little, meditating, and I heard the voice. The scene where our papa can stream with him, declaring, I hear the voice, aura, aura, aura. If the sun can shine at night, then you will die. But if the sun cannot shine at night, you will not die. Don't be afraid. And I just came to myself. In Jesus' name. Amen. And from that day, there is no fear. Amen. And I decided to come on the conference with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my spirit. In the conference, God began to move. While I was sitting Friday, he came and touched my head. When he touched my head, I went home. It's something that I've been encountering. Christian brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter when you are a minister, 
We all carry our own thing with us. But we need power that is higher than the power that we carry. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus in this place. She says she came with a whole lot of problem. And she have the dream our father told her. Except the sun can shine at night. But as long as the sun can shine at night, you are not going to die. And our father touched her. And by the grace of God, everything is okay. To the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Now, now listen to our next testifier. Your name, where are you from, and what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. My name is Kumba S. Tamba. I live called where coffee farm back I came to tell God thank you for my life. And before I came in the conference, I was getting mad. I can't understand my life. Anything with me going down. But through the grace, a God, women of God in the house, they will praise God. So the first day, it was Tuesday, when I came here, God bless me, I bought my lapa, I bought my t-shirt. So the first day on the conference, men of God, God locate me, he touched my head. The second day, he touched my head. So yesterday, I got delivered. So I came back, the craziness was on my head. I can't understand my life. No way, and the gate that in my mother's village, Guinea, he tried to disturb me, and God opened that gate. And I came back to tell God, thank you for my life. In Jesus' mighty name. If you say amen, you are the next in line for testimony. Nana, listen to our next testifier. Tell us your name, where you're from, and what the Lord has done. My name is Ete Suare. I want to be a praise to God. I want to tell God, thank you for great things he has done for me, for my family, and greater things he will continue to do. I was now where I've been sick since January. Sometimes you see people walking, you don't know what's happening in them. But my legs were just burning, burning, burning. I couldn't even walk any distance. I would feel weak and tired. So I, used, I was just going to hospital, from hospital to hospital. And sometimes they would not even see what wrong with me. And then sometimes they would say, that's rheumatism, that, that's typhoid. So they would treat me. Even the last treatment, I took up to 10 injections in the vein. But the legs continued to burn. They were giving me tablets and all. So I, I said, God, I'm continuing to be sick. Heal me. I don't know what is wrong with me. So when I, the, the women conference came out, and, I, and I, before I left to come, I said, God, as I'm going to this conference, heal me. Let me not come back with this problem. So I came to the, to the crusade. The first day, I said, God, let your servant touch me. So we keep up here on Tuesday. And for truth, he touched my head. And I felt the presence in my, in, my, in my spirit. So I went back. When I, the second day, the Wednesday when we came, we were all praying, praying as the man of God was leading prayers. So when I saw him, he was coming to, to the pew, I said, God, as your servant come up, because I'm taking the medicine, my legs continue to burn, but I, I'm not going to take any more medicine again. I believe in you to heal me. So as he comes in the pew, let him touch me or let the water touch me. And when the water or his hand touch me, let me not go back with any sickness again. And when he came into the pool, when he flashed the water, all the time he continued to flash the water, continued, the water continued to come on me, come on me continuously. I said, thank God. I know I'm healed. So now when who that night I had this dream, as they was about to break, then God just carried my eyes to my, to my foot. And I saw this long red worm. It was in my foot tingling like it wants to come out. So right away I looked down and I saw it. I started to check the, 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 the skin, to open the skin. Because it was in the skin. So when I checked the skin, the skin opened. I grabbed the worm and I hold it up. It was red. When I hold it up, I threw it. As soon as I threw it, I woke up from sleep. I said, thank God I'm healed. From that day to today, all the burning in my legs all disappeared.
from that day till today, all the burning in her life disappeared. And you are just sitting there that. Celebrate Jesus. Now, now listen to our next testifier. Tell us your name, where you're from, and your testimony. My name is Wata Sheriff. Coming from Samukata. Okay, my testimony go this way. Yesterday, after Ulano, I for that to touch her. After that, it touched my head, it turned me around. I have fell. When I fell, I saw that everything go away. So last night, after the declaration, when I went home, I took on my club on the other table. Then the boy came my ear. He said, Don't take back. Sleep generally. I wash my feet. When I went to bed, I saw. I was in my father's house because there were been sleeping in a few days. There is flowers, so so spider web, the gates eh, before me. When I went out, I said, No way. I just saw the lady. The lady said, The tree that in front of your power hall, there where they put everything. Everything that belongs to you, there where they put it. But come in quite a tree down. I've been cutting a tree and one quite a tree, it can grow. But this summer, when I cut it, it will never grow. So that how the woman tell you, call out, start cutting that tree down. All the flowers, the spider web, cut everything down. When she came, I saw my older brother. My older brother said, I think. I didn't go far in school because if I come and go far in school, they were coming live with me. So that why I didn't go far in school. He gave me that war two years ago now. I saw him coming. He said, also oh, finally, you call a tree down. So I'm not no longer living in a house here with you. I'm going in my one room apartment that I have in life. So I came to get God all the glory this morning. Hallelujah. In a dream, her older brother having to be the root cause of a problem. He said, from now on, I'm no longer connected to you. I'm going to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Now let's listen to our next testifier. Hello, what's your name and what is your testimony? Ahaba Malia. Your last son, I pray, Chris. The testimony is a long testimony. My job make it short. I fear I will pressure in January. I got paralyzed. I couldn't walk. I couldn't talk. But when I entered the house, I heard by the conference because I can listen to his radio. I have my grandchild for me radio. When I go to the exercise, I will listen to the radio. I have here by the conference. I said I will go. And I came here. When I came that day, I couldn't even to walk. I can't talk. When I touch my phone on the ground, the baby will get pee will be inside. But from the day I bought my mantle, I tie it on my legs and I put it on my hand. That I got free from it when he when he lay his hand on my head yesterday. That I get little. I want to tell God thank you for the life that He gave me and thank you for the pain I get in Jesus' name. Amen. She came here, she was not walking, but because of the connection by the grace of God. She can walk now. Hallelujah. Tell us your name and where you're from. Mani D. I come from uh, her name is Man B. Yi. She says she has been afflicted. Her foot was her feet was swollen up when she came here. She said, but yesterday Papa went in her direction, flashed the water on her. Tell her, and she said from there, she feel it released to the glory of God. All the swollen legs, the other leg was swollen up, but it went down. Now she feel it no more pain in Jesus' name. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Let's listen to our next testifier. Your name, where you from, and what the Lord has done. Okay. My name is Fewa B. Sias Mongu. I'm from Ghana, VMTA. Before I came to the conference, I was sick. But when I reached here, two flash in the water. I said, even the water test me, I will get here. I, I will heal you. The service before the the the, 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 the apple service, daddy told us, when you go home, you should ignore the other, there will be a fire. But I don't know where the fire coming from. So we came that day and we left. 
We came for the apple service. I bought two apples. After the prayer, I ate one. And I told one to my children, and they were on the, they were ready today. Uh, how do you call it? Bombo Market. So I took the apple. The other boy just left from the ghetto. He said, Man, I'm no longer in the ghetto. So I stayed, I split it out myself. He said, Mama split it for all. The other one ate one, the other one ate the other one. When I left from there, going home, I reached Banavay Junction. The fire daddy was talking about. The fire go below with me to Banavay Junction. We got in the bus. Before I sat in the bus, I said, The God of Apostle, let the driver disappear. In my heart, I said, Driver disappear, you appear. All two of power in the car. No, you're making power in the car for transportation business. We used to banana junction, we call in the traffic. The car started smoking. We couldn't see one another in the car. While we were jumping down, jumping down, somebody came and hit my finger. My finger spring. I told the other guy, I said, I have breath, fan get can. Hold the finger, hold it. The girl hold the finger, the finger sang. When I went home, my whole hand was swelled up. A pastor, we are called my sister. I said, sister, we almost got brain. So she tell me, say, but I'm not feeling where you must come. Hallelujah. She was uh, involved in a car accident, in a fire accident, and she jumped down. Because she prayed to the God of this commission, she said, God of the apostle, you be the one to take over the wheel. And by the grace of God, she never left in a fire accident. To the glory of God, celebrate Jesus. Now, now listen to our next testifier. Hello, tell us your name and let your, your testimony. My name is Etta Seo from Johnson V Sports Center. My testimony goes like this. Let the women of this church say across the border. I just come to appreciate the Almighty God for our father of this house. When the women conference came about, it was on the radio. Every time I play my radio, I told God, I said, God, I've been carrying pins since changing wearing my right. Some of legs, a bit pinning all night. I just have to sleep at night. And I told God, I said, God, as I will mark my foot on that conference, I shouldn't come back with a pin. And definitely, God answered my prayer. Yesterday, the men of God called for touch, were in a on a canopy there. I came that touch alone yesterday morning when I went back to my seat. I felt that little headache, but later on I felt that heavy heat coming from out of my head. I said, Jesus, I tell you, thank you. And then he stopped there. God was preparing me to climb as my, 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 my delivery yesterday night. But we were also there when he got through with the people inside, he came out. He went straight to my direction. When he flashed the water, I said, the water just bathed me. I said, Jesus, I'm grateful. He came and he held my hand. He left me off on a chair. He only declared what he said, Father, I tell you, thank you for your daughter. Enough is enough. So I felt released last night. I come to just give glory to the Almighty God of the commission in Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Let's listen to our next testifier. Hello. Tell us your name and what the Lord has done. My name is Felicia Ure from New Georgia Junction. Women of this commission, join me, let's celebrate grace. For the past two weeks, my granddaughter was sick in my hands. And a child father left her in my hand when she was two months, the father passed up. They've been living with me. But then I have feel walking on a leg in a mare when the grandfather came from work. I say, baby, the way they get condition looking here, not looking fine to me. You all go to the hospital. When we went up to that there, the people couldn't accept us. We left, we went safe zone. We beat the people gates. They refused to open. So I just tell you, say, let's carry the girl home. Nothing will happen. I know the God I am serving. The tears came in my eye again for the second time. When we carry her home, I decided to apply the prophetic material. I took my oil, the mantle, everything I applied it on. We slept till break the next morning. She was playing small, small. One of my neighbors in the yard, she said, I will bring somebody to be cheating the girl. They cheated her, lay girl, her, lay baby, four months old baby, took, take injection. But then if you are break, I continue to pray. 
That night when I went to bed, I couldn't sleep. I sat down on my bed and decided to shed tears because it's not easy, Christian brother and sister. Women are not easy. So when I was crying, the first time he said, But what are you crying for? Then you told right from Graceland, January 5 Sunday when we came here, I carry rat, I told 10 rat, I carry a. So I had a rat with me. I decided to apply the rat. The first thing I put a tin rat in my baby water, I went, I took bath. Then from there, I applied three in the horse, the four round, two in the net. I came outside with the two, the four rat in my hand. I decided to declare on it. I said, hey, rat, I send you, whether in my mother's village, my father's village, even in my relationship, I send in the stone of death with fire. Whosoever after my life, let it feed the stone of death. I apply it. I couldn't sleep. I was praying until three o'clock in the night. One in the morning hour. When I came outside, daybreak, I came outside. My sister in, in law so living with me. The labor was sitting down, sweating. Like when you just take a bucket of water and waste it on the person. I said, But why are you sweating that day? You hungry? He said, No. I said, Go make it red high or eat. He said, Mama, I don't want to eat. I said, but you sweating. Take all the share from on you. He took all the share. I went and bought two bucks back of water. I decided to waste it on him. Waste the water on him, the sweat dry. He said, I won't go in the room. I said, no. Lie down on the bench. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She so coming to the root cause of the problem. Yes. This particular, but as she, after she applied the serving rod that she took from Graceland, she said this boy that lay people her, he began to sweat. At the end of the day, he began to confess and tell her, I am the cause of the problem. I did this and I did that. So she saw the root cause of a problem to the glory of God. Celebrate Jesus. Let us listen to our near testifier. Hello. What's your name and what the Lord has done? My name is Vettero Gossin. My people here, join your hand and celebrate the mission here. I tell God, thank you for my life. The problem that I've been hanging behind me for almost, almost 20 years. My children that are born, they are dying. They all of four one die in Grand Basso County. They saw one die to Ray there. They all are two on the street. The three girls to join on them. Just gone last week when I say I was in my room praying. I prayed the whole night until day, five o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning, I saw Pastor Aaron, the, the Holy Spirit, enter in. He started shouting at him, Get up, go, go, go. I don't want for you to go to no different church. Go to a great land. Go to a great land. I had wake up. When I woke up, I started crying. I said, Oh, boy, hello there. My delivery is in a in, in, in great land. This time I pray for my daughter here in America, I will see myself here to the mortar play to it die. This time, when I pray, I will see myself here. So, when they were gone, two years my daughter, my son, King, was saying, Now I tell her, Go to the PV master. My brother, daughter, sitting now down there, telling my daughter, Say, You know who came on my first son? My daughter said, No. That time I was small. I said, The boy need papa. He said, Oh, that my mother, that my, that my grandma came, your, 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 your brother. The one that died to read that your grandma came in. The two that on the street that your mom put them on the street. The other one, the girl that your mom put in there. I said, yes. I always say that they will go all around. When the devil is afraid, then, that the mean chef one they will come here. That how she came, she confessed. The man never tells her, she started to confess. Hallelujah. Another confession. Being going through a whole lot of things, not knowing where the problem coming from. Once you saw the man of God in your dream, say go to no different church, but go to Graceland. There where you will find a solution. And once you came here with her grandchild and her daughter, and by the grace of God, the late child confessed and she knew where the problem coming from. And now she feeling no more the way she used to feed back to the glory of God. Celebrate Jesus in this place. Let's listen to our next testifier. Hello, tell us your name. And what the Lord has done. My name is from Tomo Ferry, Dabita. 
brother and sister have started to break for me. I'm testing on it all about myself. I've been afraid of sin. 1999, almost 27 years, I've been afraid of why the people call the sinner and say a tafo, I will not tafo. They are fresh on care on me, wash, when you care on me, I will get hairy, pressure, all kind of thing, when you ballet. But when I go in my dream, I will see spirit, I will not be with people that are living. So, so spirit, the people want to die, like the people will be with me. Every time I told myself, every time injection in my vein, I in hospital, I taking medicine, no. No answer, no answer. But when I was in the com- in, 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 in the church, in the world alive, no more going to hospital. And I found my solution. They gone, they first, they, 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 they. Hallelujah. She says she's been a sickly person. Every time going to hospital. Today she say, tomorrow she will. She said, but from the time she found herself in this commission, she no longer the sick person she used to be. She free. She no longer spend her money to hospital, and she have come to testify the goodness of the God of this commission. Celebrate the Lord. Hello, what's your name? Where you from? And let your testimony. I'm Hadassah Davis. I'm Hadassah Davis. <clears throat> I'm from Duporo. Hallelujah. Tell John me to celebrate grace in the house. There is fruitfulness in this house. Hallelujah. As for me, I begin to bear fruit before the week of this women conference. Hallelujah. Anyone that carry that mantle, if you know that you carry this mantle, I want you to just celebrate grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came to return the glory of God, of Apostle Abraham Kumar. I salute his majesty. Hallelujah. There's a daughter of my friend, live in Conakry, Guinea. She called me last week, Fridays, 10 to 11. She went pregnant, carrying all the pregnancy for 10 to 11 months. This month was 11 months. Hallelujah. She cried unto me. She said, Mama, if you cannot stand, to pray for me for now today Friday for now to Monday they will operate on me they did all the check to the hospital the doctor said if I don't give birth they will operate on me no golden can I said shut up because I have a God I have not yet said nothing the God of Apostle Abraham is with me he is my brothers my comforters he will always be with me in every battle. Hallelujah. I say, wherever you are, just take up a water. Water that bottle, water that plastic. He said, what type of water? I got cool water. I said, take it. And then I hold the test. I bought the test from here. It was written by the servant of God, the raw power. Hallelujah. He said, wherever you go, you shall be accepted. Hallelujah. It happened for me this testimony. It may not happen for you, but it will happen for your sisters. Hallelujah. It's been doing so much great thing for me. Hallelujah. She said it is written on the test. Wherever you go, you shall be accepted. So her daughter was pregnant and they took her to the hospital. They told her from this Friday to Monday, if you don't get breath, you are going to go to C session. And she have this text. And the daughter called her. She told the daughter. Wherever you are, take a water. Let me pray. And she pray on the water. Her daughter apply it. She say before that money, her daughter gave breath safely like a Hebrew woman. Celebrate the Lord. Now, now listen to our next testifier. For that testifier, I'm going to explain on her behalf. She's going to call her name and where she's from. Tell us your name and where you're from. Mafatu John. Okay, Mafatu John says she has been afflicted. She came here and she met our father. She went to him say, Mapa. I'm not well as sick. Our father lay hands on her head and he prayed for her. She said all the afflictions, she went PDP, all type of things there, but by the grace of God, since our father touched her and prayed for her, this is okay with her in Jesus' name. Celebrate the Lord in this place. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Now let's listen to our next testifier. 
Tell us your name, where are you from, and let your, your testimony. My name is Sadan Steven. I come from Ireland, Clinton, in Bush. Okay. The other side, I break grace. <laughs> you know that my first time standing in the presence of God. So. <laughs> Hallelujah. She said this child, before the conference, I think it was on Monday, she was doing something, she laid a quince, and the child swallowed the quince. So when she went, she saw the child, like, holding a neck. She asked the child, the child said, I swallow quince. So she took the anointing oil, she prayed over it, and she gave it to the child. She said, God of this commission, God of grace land, don't allow my child to die. So when she applied the anointing oil, somebody came and told her, say, carry the child to the hospital, carry the child to this. She said, I better make my way to the conference. She took the child and bring the child to the conference. And by the grace of God, two days passed, the child went and told it with the conference to the glory of God. So she have come to testify. If you say amen, you are the next in line for testimony. The Lord bless you. Somebody said a break grace. Is there any fruit for a woman in the house? Put your hands together for Jesus. Do that better. Put your hands together for Jesus. In Jesus' name. The beginning of every good thing. The end is better than the beginning. I want you to celebrate our Father. And celebrate the God of this house. We've been here from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today is Sunday, our Thanksgiving service. I know from the very beginning of this program, and to the very end of this program, God has blessed us with deliverance, with miracles, with healings, and all kinds of blessings. And I can assure you that your coming here is not in vain. God has impacted you, used us to impact you, use our father, Apostle Abraham Cromer, to impact us with a lot of knowledge. And not just impartation, but also to deliver us Put your hands together for Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. So I want you to get set. I want you to open your mind. I want you to connect your heart. As our Father will be coming up, just as God said, visit me. In Jesus' mighty name. Clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. Have your seats. I will paint tight this morning. Do you have a tight in your hands? I will come to altar. Let's do that fast, please. Lift up your tides in your hands where you are coming. Say the prayer after me. Say, Father, say, I'm a fruitful woman. Say, Lord, thank you for your blessings and your favor upon our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, God, for this moment, for extending your favor, your grace, your blessings, for increase upon our lives in the name of Jesus. You shall not fail, you shall not see shame. Shame shall not be your portion. The Lord shall increase every aspect of your life. You shall be fruitful in Jesus' name. All right, so let's do. Go back to our seats. So, yeah. Thank you. More than my mouth can testify. More than my mind can comprehend. I see the 
wonders of your grace. I'm so sure that this is not you. Oh, as See how far you brought me. As I'm so glad you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell. And I know it's your grace All my days I will see Celebrate you for the time for being here. Look at I know who my who carrying that my driver. Eh, <laughs> look you. We make conference finish. So your brother my dress. I will dress on here too. But well, that's good. <laughs> Clap your hand for Jesus. Amen. Thank you. So wonderful. Amen. All right. Wow. You look very. Those of you that get a lap, can you come out? Can you come on the side here? Let's see. Wait, close it back. Don't let that guy in. While you are coming, this is going to be like. When you come like this, you turn so. All right. You come so, then you turn so. So let's come now. Let's come fast. Let's do that fast. The short people, he run again. Oh, right, then he turns so. Thank you. He turns so. Yeah, he turns so. When you come, turns so. You need running, 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 and you short. There you are now. Your feel not even show. We waiting for you. So, yes, all right. All right, what you here? All right, go fast, waiting for you, please. 
Pay attention now. They will see you. Will, will increase your, will elevate your height. They will see you. Go ahead fast, waiting for you. You done? You sure? Do it again. Eh, hey, looking for you. Pay attention. Say cheese. Eh, hey, I said chicken. I said cheese. Say again. 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 And say chicken. I said cheese. Say 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 cheese. All right. Go back to your seat now. Thank you. No, not you. Not you. Hello. Come fast, please. All of you here, get down. I say get down. So the other flow there. All of you there. You there. Who carry you down there? All of you there, who carry all there? Your counsel. Look at who carry all down there. Y'all go in from. Just squat down, be okay. Okay. Who can be there? Go back. Anyone, cheese or chicken, anyone you can say. You show? Both sides. You gotta be fast, man. Go to your seat. On what a title, the consequences of becoming short. <laughs> when you are short, you will not see you in that picture. Clap your hand for Jesus, amen. Fruitful woman, God bless you. So, here we end. Something short to tell you. I want you to look at it, mark them down, and then we just go into the process of an anointing. Are you ready now? If you are here, say, Lord, say, I'm a fruitful woman. Yesterday, we said crossing the borders. In other words, increasing in the level or to a stage where people don't pass. I told you yesterday, a lot of people come, but they didn't go beyond. They came, but they didn't go beyond the level. They stopped at a particular level. So this morning, we are looking at strength of fruitfulness. Strength. In other words, what is the power or the power needed to be fruitful? The needed power to be fruitful. The strength of fruitfulness. In Proverbs 8, 10. Proverbs chapter 8. You study verse 10. It says... Receive my instruction and not savor and knowledge rather than choice gold. Receive my instruction. So, what we look at now too long, it tells you that savor and gold is seen as powerful than divine instruction. Receive my instruction. So what do you do with instruction? It's one thing to get an instruction. It's another thing to implement an instruction. And that is the whole thing about the gospel, about the will of God in the lives of every man. So many a time you hear people say, oh, God said he's going to use me. He's going to bless me. He's going to make me great. 
But they forget to understand greatness is actually processing. And you got to be available, willing, in other words, to achieve greatness. So greatness has to do with your self-participation. You got to participate when it comes to the subject of greatness. So being fruitful is the heartbeat of God for his children, especially for you as his daughter. So we end our fruitfulness conference today. So we look at the strength of becoming fruitful. One, the sword. The sword means the ground. If the sword is good, if the ground is blessed, the seeds will not struggle or the crops will not struggle in order what to see fruitfulness. So the sword, if the sword is good, so we look at the place of the sword in the Bible. So when the ground is good, the seed grows fast. So in fruitfulness, one thing that is strong and supportive when it comes to fruitfulness is the soil. It's the ground. In Zechariah chapter 8, if you study verse 12, Zechariah chapter 8 verse 12, the Bible says, for the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase. The ground shall give her increase. So the prosperity of the seed is the goodness of the ground. If the ground is fruitful or fertilized, then I can tell you that it doesn't matter the type and the size of seed. The seed is permitted to grow and not to be seedless. So we see in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19, the men of the city came to Elijah and he said, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant as my Lord seeth, but the water is not and the ground is barren. When the ground is barren, the seed is frustrated. Let me give you one instance. It may, it may not sound good because when we remember the falling souls of the past generation of people from the 14 years civil war in Liberia, many people did nothing but they were killed. Many people were harmless but they were killed. Just for one man dream, 1,000 men die. For one man greediness, 5,000 men life are wasted. Whenever innocent blood is being wasted, the ground marvel. So, one thing we should not ignore in our country here is, you see like being struggling and shouting and weeping for hardship. But you forget to know that you are not a manufacturer of life or the giver of life. We saw when King killed Abel, how things became very difficult. God made Abel to tore the ground. No matter what Abel did in life, it was very difficult for him because the innocent blood of King Abel was speaking in a generation of king. So when the ground is barren, the people are fruitless. When the place is defiled, unconsecrated the people become fruitless things become very difficult even probably government instated government elected people in power they came with good intention they came with good mindset they have applied before contesting but since they got the position things had to scatter in their hands why because the ground is barren but nobody look at things from that perspective. Everybody look at things from their human reasoning. So if we don't look at the spiritual factors of things, it doesn't matter what we do. When the ground is barren, no matter the seed you put in the ground, the seed won't yield anything. The seed can only yield something when the ground becomes fruitful. But ladies and gentlemen, having said that, to increase frustration because in spite of wherever we stay there is yet a ground that God 
has consecrated. If I hear your amen, you will grow fruit in the name of Jesus. Hear this very carefully. The Bible says in verse 19, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19. The barren ground, verse 20. Now, in that generation, it was a privilege to have a prophet. And he said, bring me a new curse and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. Verse 21. And he went forth to the spring of the water and cast the salt in there and said, Thou said the Lord, I have healed this water. There shall not be from twins any more death where or barren or barren land. Let's just say it that way. From today, you won't struggle to harvest when you plant or seed. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tuesday, every single leg that step on this ground, your life shall never be fruitless again. If your amen come with passion, you will increase. That your amen is not correct at all. I don't like that way you say your amen. If the ground not good and you plant in that identical ground, the seed will die. And when the seed die, therefore become frustrated. Leviticus chapter 27, if you look at verse 21, Leviticus 27 verse 21, but the field, when it goeth out in the jubilee, shall be holy unto the Lord. As the field devoted, the possession thereof shall be priest. I mean, shall be the priest. He said, your field shall be holy. Even though the earth is mine, desecrated, but your field shall be holy. Ladies and gentlemen, shortly, if you start at Exodus chapter 3, Exodus 3, verse 2, Exodus chapter 3, verse 2, the Bible says, and an angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush, and he said, and he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. In that verse, and Moses said, I will not turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. In that verse, and when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the mix of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Yeah, I am. The next verse. And he said, Drew not, not harder. Put up the shoe for the place. The place. So there are places that a holy place the ground you're standing on separated from other places in Liberia is the holy ground once you step on the holy ground your life shall be fruitful that's your amen is not better at all if I hear your amen something happened to you we have seen men women people with different kinds of situations they became stubborn to themselves. They accepted the propagandas of others. And they got manipulated. But the day they came to their conclusion. And they decided to use this direction. When they got in here. Anyone that can attest. If you are spiritually sensitive. This is not the resident of Abraham Cromer. This is a separated place in this country. Choosing by God that as that get open and you enter the air going back you are not the same person if I hear your amen take all your shoes step on the holy ground say as I step on the ground I shall be fruitful I shall be fruitful I shall be fruitful Holy Ghost Emmanuel are you here if you are here say I hear you one more time again, say, I hear you. Look at this. Look at this. 
He said, do one. He said, take off your shoe. <laughs> I will do it. I will do it. No. <laughs> I will do it. Judge you over. No. What I will do is someone say scripture. Say Bible. Bible. Say what in the Bible? God said, Moses, do what? Take up your shoe. Why? He said, for the place you standing. <laughs> Ah, for the place you standing is what when Moses has him stood on the holy ground, he life was miserable. Study your Bible. It was Moses, Pharaoh's daughter, Moses, an Egyptian slave. But from the day he steps on the holy ground, he became a Moses, a liberator of the Israelites. As you step on the holy ground today, that's your amen. Does it sound better at all? Anywhere you go, the God of this house will follow behind you. That's your amen. Is sound better at all? As you step on the holy ground, every disease that follow you to come here, the holy ground swallow that disease. The reflection swallow that disease. The evil that behind your life founded in destiny. If I hear your amen, it's coming from out of your leg. It's coming from out of your leg. Somebody shall say, as I step on the holy ground. As I step on the holy ground. My afflictions are consumed. They are consumed. They are consumed. Open your mouth and begin to say Are you here? Yeah? If you are here, say fire. If that's it for you, say that one minute. Check me one minute. One minute. Is that what? Off your shoes. You have been going places for the place. Moses. You have been going here and there for the place. You see? When Moses was a bit far from where he saw the bush, God didn't speak to him when he was far. But when Moses turned and he decided to go close, coming closer to the fire, the voice spoke and said, Moses, I believe he said, who may have been here calling my name in the very strange place that no one suspected to be here. When he said, Moses, the next thing he said, Take off your shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, when God said, take up your shoes, God was about to drain out. Do you know that there is a... Now I don't know how to say. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not good to say. The kind of stuff I won't get is bad. It's not good. It's not good. You got everything you want here. Everything you want here. You want here everything. Say it. Say it. I want to go. I want to say it. Will you go and fire you again? I want to say it. But then when you are dreaming water from the human body that are placed they have, then they open. That is when the person is lifeless. I was say, I don't want to say that one. Uh -huh. But the good news here is when God said, take up your shoes. For the place where you stand, the place is to hold the ground. So what comes to your mind? Moses, take up your shoe. If you are Moses now, and you are in heat, you know what that means? Now, do you know that on the face of the earth, we men have corrupted ourselves. Everywhere Moses passed, has hid in corruption. So, the shoe belongs to the earth, but the feet belongs to the Lord. So, in other words, he said, put away the world, because where you are, you are with the Lord. When Moses stood, you must show my feet again. In this area. Hey, come on, man.
Let God punish you there. When he finishes punishing you, then we will deliver you later on. Fool. But then I was saying that <laughs> you are said to you. You just far many get you can get distracted. Just your power. But anyway, let's move on. As he did so, the scripture said, the Lord said to him, this place you are standing is what? A holy ground. Instruction. There was a reason why I read Proverbs chapter 10 to you. For Proverbs chapter 8 verse 10. He said, receive my instruction. I don't want to go in depth that because I've been to plan, I haven't had plan to talk or much. Because I've did a lot during the week. I try my best. But the truth here is, when you take up your shoes, it's not the ground that you are standing. So ladies and gentlemen, hear me now. If Moses, if you would have been that Moses and you were able to have a counterpart with the Lord and you found the special place on the face of the earth, what will you do? A place, a solution, what will you do? The question here today is that few minutes ago, this instruction came. He said, every one of us, whatever that has become a trouble to you, whether it is probably a child or an husband or a job or a passport, anything in your hand, as I speak to you now, drop it on the ground. Say, as I lay this thing on the holy ground, it can be anything that is in your hand. Right now, drop it on the ground for three minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That they receive fire. They receive fire. They receive fire. Every receive fire, every receive fire, every receive fire. Anything that giving you challenge, that giving you hard time, that giving you difficult time. As you lay that thing on this ground, I speak to you today by the force of the grace of God, by the reason of this anointing that is coming upon your head this morning. Your life shall become fruitful. Everything that taking time to grow, taking time to improve, taking time to go further. In the way I hear your amen, it shall go bigger and better. It shall grow bigger and better. Increase shall be your portion. 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 Shut fire. So fruitful woman, when you are done being anointed, this is your, your instruction. The only thing, don't carry this ground for me. I'm not saying now.
there will be no more a doing anything and not working for me. I put my hair and nothing coming out. Whoever responsible, we are bearing them whether they like it or not. That your amen is not correct at all. Shall I must be fruitful? So the strength to fruitfulness is what? The soul. When the soul is barren, the feed is barren, the ground is hard, the seed will not grow. But when the ground is being good, you are on a good ground. Are you here? We'll do something. Just a meaning. Number two, and this is what I stopped this morning. What are the power needed for the seed to increase and become fruitful? The power of the blessing. The power of the blessing. The blessing is the fertilizer upon the life of the seed to expand the seed and to make sure God bless them. And God said, be fruitful. Genesis 1, 28. God bless them. And God said, be fruitful. So when God bless you, you are not allowed or permitted to be fruitless. A person that carry blessing on their life, your enemy giving us a helic. You become unstoppable and unblackable and unshoppable. Nobody can shop you behind. You can force put you, you and you must go farther and farther and listen, 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 listen. There is a special anointing you are about to receive on your head. Anointing to put you in front anywhere you go. You shall not come behind if I hear your amen again. That your amen is not correct at all. If I hear your amen, a blessing will push you in front. It will push you in front. It will push you in front. Shout amen. I receive it. Are you here? Tell anybody, I'm not cursed. So. so, the indication of curse is to be fruitless. The implication of blessing is to be fruitful. When the person is cursed, their life becomes dry. They do nothing better. No increase of anything. Whatever they get involved into, it becomes difficult. The daughter said to me, Papa, my auntie has stay away. She looked at me in my face and told me to kneel down and make pronouncement. And now I'm 28 years old. Every day I hear that voice in my ear. The auntie keeps saying, from that age, at the age of 10 years old, up to 28 years old, she said, every day, now one day, she won't hear that voice. The voice will say, you think I'm joking, eh? Nothing will come from out of you. No. So the problem here is, when someone curse you, and not just rely on the word. The word is a threat. But there is an evil demonstration that is sponsoring in the world. So even if that, if, if it's because of what she said, that is the reason why life choose to be with someone who is young like that. Then that means something may have been in the system that scattering everything that person will do. But you hear me? The good news here is when a blessing is placed upon the person, there is nothing, absolutely nothing. In fact, you are not even permitted. Even if yourself choose to fail, you will not fail. Why? Because the blessing on you, the purpose of the blessing is to make sure that you yield fruit. When you fertilize the soil, the seed gets strong to manifest. I pray over your head today. What is about to come out of your life? Your enemies will eat the fruit of your life. Those that said you will be nothing. You will not show nothing. You have nothing to show as a woman. I pray if I hear your amen, something shall manifest. No, no, no. I said something shall manifest. Something shall manifest. That your amen is not better at all. Shall say, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Are you here? <laughs> okay. I, I, this is what I enjoy now. In 28 Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28. Please for me fast. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Verse 1. 
and it shall come to pass. If thou shalt yet keep diligently unto the voice of the Lord, your God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord, that God, will see thee on high, above, sorry, he will set thee up high, or set thee on high, above all nations of the earth. You know, certain times when you speak certain English, the English people can freak say out different way. Okay. He said, you, there are all nations, but for you, when you obey the Lord your God, he said, among the nations, I shall set you high among other nations. So what it means, it doesn't matter how many religions there shouldn't be your concern. Your concern here as you walk out of here, you are seated above everybody. That's your amen sound like you are afraid or you are scared. Shout amen and adios. Don't be afraid when you see plenty of people. God likes to make news when plenty of people show up. That is when God can make news. Are you here? So the question here is, or the thing here is, anywhere you go, exemption will be your character. Exemption. You are always exempted. You are a distinct, distinguished. You are honorable in your own right. You are a diplo diplomat. Diplomatically, you are diplomated. If I hear your amen, something will happen for you. Say, I am a distinct person. I will always be noticed. The oil for me to be noticed. I will not be in no. The oil coming on my head. It is hard for people to see me and pretend that they see me. I will be noticed. Shouted the loudest. Are you here? <laughs> He will make you more important. Okay. Today I'm telling you this. Today oh, I'm telling you this. Oh. You must obey the Lord your God. Be careful to obey all his rules. If you do that, he will make you very important. He will make you very important. He will make you important though. He will make you very important. They get important people, then they get very important people. What? My name is Abraham Croman, right? If I say I'm important, say Abraham, you are joking. Say I'm very important. Shut up there, shut up there. Wait. I will miss you if you follow a hard time. So here we go. My name is Abraham Croman. I'm important. Hey God, call your name. Say I am. I want to get it very. I say I am important. So you will say I am very important. Shut up there. Shut up there. Wait. My name is Abraham Koma. I'm important. Say it again. Say it again. Shout it louder. Shout it to yourself. Left and death lie to the power of the tongue. Say it again. All right. Please permit me. I will give a lapa to you. Okay. Now watch this. All right. So. Let me just remove your lap out a little bit. Everything I'm doing here is prophetic. All right. So, which color is this? Which color is the leaf or in the bush? When a person becomes fruitful, the light become what? Green. Today, I speak over your head, everybody. 
You food for woman I make pronouncement over your life. Your leaf will not weather. Your leaf will not get dry. Anytime you see the leaf turn green, the tree is about to produce fruit. Someone here is already turning green in the service. You are turning green, 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 green. Anywhere I hear your amen, you are turning green. You are turning green, you are turning green. 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 Shall I receive grace? Yes. This is the voice that I'm supposed to read out to you. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Bro, can you put that voice back for me? Verse 2 now. Verse 2. Verse 2. I will preach your lag. He said, And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou shalt yak it unto the voice of the Lord. All these blessings. The next verse. Fast for me. I appreciate. Blessed shall thou be in the city. This is very careful here. Blessed shall thou be in the hard time city. The city where people are facing hard time for you in that city, you are blessed. Are you saying amen that like you are scared? Blessed shall thou be in the city. In the city where others are going down, you are going higher and high. All I want you is to receive that thing here on your head. When you receive that thing here, you will see it happening in your life. Shall I receive? I receive? I receive? In the city. What do you see there? In the village? No. Where? In the city. I hear from the author say, I don't want doing this. You can't move from the village. And you come to the city. And you are in the city and experiencing village life. Say that devil is an idiot. So what I mean? And from today, let there be awareness of every power threatening you from the water, from the sea, every queen of the coast, every marine spirit. Let them be aware that you are in the city. And as you are in the city, you will dominate. Your enemy will only frown their face. They will only get bitter in their heart. They will only grieve in their spirit. They will only talk behind you. But they can't stop you from shining. If I hear your amen, you will manifest. That's your amen. It's not loud at all. Say, I shall be blessed in the city. I shall be blessed in the city. I shall be blessed in the city. Shall I say, I receive it. Blessed shall that be in the field. No, 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 no. Order there. Go back there. Blessed shall that be in the field. You shall be blessed in the field. In the field. In the field. Let liking the field as every area of career or area of profession in your field. You shall be blessed in your your field shall not be cursed. Whether you are an entrepreneur or a business person, whether you are academicians, whether you are an educator, or whether you are a working person. Every field, that topic, we can always hear. Say nothing working for me. That devil will bury him here today. Nothing working for you. Now this time around. Now this time around, all will begin to work. The power that's stopping them from working will bury them. If I hear your amen, to go down for your sake. That your amen is not good at all. It shall work for you. It shall work for your family. It shall work for your job. It shall work for your business. It shall work for your life. It shall work for every aspect of you. You shall be blessed in your field. Shall say, I receive grace. Are you here? You shall be blessed in the field. <laughs> you shall be blessed in the field. You shall be blessed. Next verse, please. He said, Blessed shall. <laughs> Blessed shall be the fruit of the body. The fruit of the body. Blessed shall be the fruit of the body. The fruit of the ground. And the fruit of the cattle. The increase of the kind. And the flow of the sheep. Blessed 
Blessed shall be. No, 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 no. Go back to verse 4. I beg you. Blessed shall be the fruit of the body. That means the outcome of your life will not be a life that will just walk every day in shame anymore. No. No. He said, and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of the cattle, and the increase of the can, and the floor of the sheep. He said, it shall be blessed. So the ground, the body, your cattle, your cattle, your cattle, that means exactly what you are doing for, for living, whatever you are doing, with the of something evil, or anything good thing you are doing, as a child of God, this is the mandate. But I want to look at verse 9, 10, and 11. Please, I beg you. 9, 10, and 11. Thank you. He said, The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself. And he has sown unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord, the God, and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of you. They shall be afraid of you. Are you here? That means you can sit among your co-workers and you are shivering what they will do to you. You see, one great blessing God put on you, he put your fear on people. Instead of you seeing them and you are shaking, they see you. After today, you will not see people and be confused. People will see you and they are confused. They will go out of their right mind because of you. And then when I hear your amen, blessing fall upon your head. Shall I receive? In the name of Jesus. The fear of the Lord is upon you. And what happened? It comes upon those that want to threaten you. 11 now. Verse 11. And the Lord shall make thee a plenteous in goose. A plenteous in goose increase in the fruit of the body and in the fruit of the cattle and in the fruit of the ground and in the land which the Lord swear unto the Father to give thee. Everywhere you are today, that is where I stop. In the land. In the land. When you hear this, certain things you hear your mind, your mindset towards the approaches of life change. The way you approach life with a fearful mind, you become bold. Your, 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 your yastic become an audacity in the land. I'm a child of God. And I'm the one who give a food to eat in the land. And I'm a child of God. And I'm the one working on the heathens, the slaves in the land. Somebody say, God forbid. God forbid. The only thing I we have for God have mercy on us. And gave our portion back to us. I pray for you today. Anywhere you are, I stretch my hands to you. The blessing to manifest, to spread, to increase, to do better, to go high, to come above your enemies, for your enemy to be afraid of you. That blessing is coming upon your head. It's coming upon your head. It's coming upon your head. Shout, say, I am on the holy ground. Let go instructions now, hurriedly. Let go instructions now. Church, this oil you are about to get on. What I mean is, get your feet off your slippers. And then you stand on the ground. Let's do that fast. Let's try something to see. Let's see what we're talking about here. Then when you don't, when you are anointed, please, all the testimonies that were Eastern, they are all correct. Listen. They are all good. Because whatever Eastern thing God will do for you, you are able to get testimony there. But you see, the testimony given in the service 
is not the testimony expected. The testimony expected is that go come back next year. Next year, before you reach there, we will see your fruit in your hands. Because you know why? You have already collected the information required for the year. So you are about to go now. And see what, what God has said is a liar. Somebody say, God is not a liar. So are you ready now? Okay, see what can be happening now. I told you, say, where you stand is the holy ground. Proverbs 10, 8, 10. He said, receive instruction. Don't argue. Receive instruction. Mm, don't look here, don't look here. Nothing should be strange to you. Eh? Be careful about yourself. Just keep your focus. And let them know where you're standing. Let them test the ground. And see whether it's God talking to us. Or is God truly instructing us. Or is it compared that I meet Apostle Croman and I get the healing? Or is it compared that I meet the man of God and things change in my life? Or as I step on the ground, what will happen to me? Are you ready? Shaya Kabbalata Haya. Every part of this place, step out of anything, any object on your feet, step out of it. It comes on the ground. Even if you get socks, get it off. Let your feet touch the ground. All the daughters of this commission you have been watching and following, and you are watching now, do the same. Off, and your feet also touch the ground. Do that. If you are also listening by radio, whatever you are, by connection, once you are connected with your spirit, don't be afraid. Where you are, let your feet also touch the ground. Because the thing is a serious matter. It's not a joking matter. God of this house, let your mightiness be showing. Let your visibility appears in the life of your children. Show yourself that you are mighty and strong. If this ground is a ground you told me in 2010, drive to Corway. I passed by some Kata Junction and I went to Luzon and you told me, say, turn around. Go back to the place you used to live. And I came close. You said, no, go further. When we came, we went in certain area. You said, this is not the place. When we reach here, you said, right here. If like you say so, show yourself this morning. So your people can know that the ground was from the back to the front from the altar to the pulpit to the basement to the back anywhere part of the place you are standing if you are standing on holy ground let the fire from the ground enter you now the fire from the ground let it begin to enter you for confirmation that as you live from here today something tangible something relevant something permanent is about to happen to you the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the God of Jacob you are mighty you are powerful you are strong I see your wave I see your blessing I see your power moving in the lives of your daughter you are turning them from dryness to fruitfulness from difficulty from hardship from every act of fruitlessness to increase in every area from today you are not permitted to beg before you get something to eat or you are not permitted to work like a slave before you get something to eat money will not 
spoil in your hand again. Things will not spoil in your hand again. The shop you open, this time around, it will not close again. There will be increase in every area. Your hands will be fruitful. Your body will be fruitful. Your life will be fruitful. Every aspect and dimension of you will be fruitful. You are planted on the fertile soil. Lord God of Israel, let your power be. I have a bow shatter. I have a bow shatter. I have a bow shatter. Hey, 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 hey. For where you stand is the holy ground. If the place is the holy ground, then everything unholy in your life, you can step on the holy ground and something unholy in your life begin to give you trouble, give you problem. Everything unholy behind you, as you step on the holy ground, they are not permitted to stay inside of you. They are jumping for out of you. The first 52 people under the sound of my voice, I bless you, I bless you. The blessing to succeed, the blessing to maximize, to increase, to do better, to go forward, to extend, to expand, to be enlarged in every area. That blessing fall on your head. It 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 fall on your head. I am blessed and not permitted to pastor empty church or to pastor empty place. So you also you are blessed and not allowed to be an empty life. Your life is about to yield fruits. Your life is about to have increase. Some of you, you are family dependents. You are family heroes. It is through you, your family are alive. So God is about to multiply you, to increase you, to expand you, to bless you, to lift you, to promote you, to elevate you, to employ you, to open doors for you. I see that happening. 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 Yes. Yes, Lord. Everywhere you are, something is happening. Very, very, very happening. You are a very anointed person right now. You are a very blessed person right now. The blessing on you, nothing can stop you from going far. That blessing gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Sit down, sit down. Something working in you. Sit down. Shaka balata higher. Please help them sit down. Something already working. It's working. It's working. It's working. You know what happened to you as you step on this ground? Barrenness is living. Dryness. Curse in your life. Ancestor curses. Parental curses. Whoever opened their mouth and made pronouncement against you to curse you for little of nothing. Whoever said that you listen to me, don't make no attempt to do anything because it won't happen. So since you left foundation, you can't carry the building up. Since you started project, you can't get money to finish it. But every spirit of dryness, 
hardness around your life in your house in your family they are packing their loaves they are packing their things some of you while you are here God is working behind you it's working at your house whatever troubling you is troubling those things you are no more to be troubled again by anything in the name of Jesus if there be God in heaven then let me know that there is a witchcraft on the face of the earth Bakabaragado Shata sickness are departing witchcraft are departing evil departing every form of pollution departing whatever that cause being for you they are leaving you today 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 shall I receive it time we want to confirm this thing faster those women people that are up there can you run here with your thing do faster if you don't do it faster I will just start doing the thing I'm supposed to do let's do that fast let's do that already already come here up here fast we want to take this time to tell you thank you every one of you for the for 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 the wonderful time we had together by the grace of God cherish yourself and begin to clap for yourself right now amen let's do the clapping better than that let's do it better let's do it better better and better you called me the names where are the names the names let's do that fast please just at least for conducting the program and giving us the program at least a better one by his grace please give me pass around here on our side give me those things down there yeah bring it give me that All right, all of you that participated, we want to say God bless you. And also again, let me call quickly those of you that came from Cape Mount, Cape Mount Way, the female pastors. Where are you people? Can you come up quickly? Let come fast, please. Let come. Be set. Call your people. All the people that didn't win. I don't waste my time. I'm late. Mother, I feel not right. Please come forward. God, Grace, please come forward. My say promotion, Monka. Okay. Maureen. All right. So let, let's stand here. Let's stand we have Willet. Let's stand. So, let's stand. One so. please come forward. Okay. Caroline Massacre, please come forward. Josephine Topset, please come forward. Give me the names, your dress behind. Give it to me, and you gave me the name for it. The quarter person. The name. Call the person's name, and you give it to me. Everybody Pastor, I've been right. Okay. 
For your participation, I want to say thank you. That's a mantle. Come. Boy, Grace. Fast, please. Thank you. Well, let. Wait. Hello, all of you there. You're past behind me. Right? She was the one that conducted the testimony. Let's just bless God for her. Amen. She just me. Pass it. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Thank you. The next. We let. We let. We let do well. Says we let do well. Amen. Let us bless God for all. Let's do that fast. Thank you. As a mantle for you. All right, let go. Josephine Thompson. Josephine. Let's bless God for them. Let's do that fast. Caroline Masakwe. Caroline. God bless you. That's a mantle for you. Eh? Maureen. Let go. Okay. Let go. The next. Let's Mercy see. Promotion Mongo. Mercy Promotion Mongo. Can you find it? Okay. Who this? That's a mantle for you. Amen. Show your head. God bless you. Amen. I forget those people. Bring them. Come back. Let's come. Yeah, come back. Come on fast. Okay. So all of you are from where are you from? From Cape Man, King Joe. King Joe. Where are you from? King Joe. Cape Man, King Joe. Cape Man, King Joe. You too? Cape Man, King Joe. Cape Man, King Joe. King Joe. Let's bless God for them. Amen. <laughs> Participated in the women's conference. They said they don't want to go back fireless. They want to go back with fire. They want to carry the fire on that side. But I will give you two forms of the fire. Come so. You first. No, you hold it there. Give me your hands. Father, we want to thank you. <laughs> no, poor down. You carry on. You want to give free boy? I said, before you want to carry it. Lift her up. <laughs> yeah, let's put the oil in and lift her up. All right. Come stay here. Bring your hands. Father, your impact. <laughs> the name of Jesus. Give a lifting of the hater. Come here. Come so. Bring your hands. Open your eyes. Put a hit for the oil. Thank you. If myself. Come so. Give me your hands. <laughs> Lift her up. Bring your hand, sister. In the name of Jesus, we speak that anointing. 
give myself to worship myself. Lift up. All right, so you help them. Help them. That's it. Help them. Get it. So, church, please try to distant the heater. You are about to receive a comfort. For the impartation, may God bless you. We learn a lot as we live from here today. We go on as a fruitful woman. May the Almighty God yourself bless you, increase you in Jesus' name. Hey, you see, when I influence, I don't need plenty of talking. Amen. Thank you. We appreciate. We appreciate a lot. Let God bless you. Thank you. It's highly appreciated. Okay, let's come now. This is